Hi, welcome to Ragsdale Creek Workshop. My name's Anthony Brown, and I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And hit that little uh, bell to get your notifications. Uh, thank y'all for stopping by. Today we're going to be making a tap guide. Uh, at the end of this video, <laughs> or the machining part, we'll explain... Uh, how it was made and uh, how it was assembled. The part we are machining now is a small uh, cylinder that will mount in the drill press chuck. This is going to be made out of a piece of half inch round stock. We're going to uh, drill and ream an eight millimeter hole in it. This is a tap guide spindle that will press onto the tap wrench itself. This tap guide spindle, we're gonna uh, cut it down to uh, uh, fit in the eight millimeter hole on one end, and we're gonna drill and bore the other end to uh, press onto the tap wrench. Sorry about the camera position, and I'm still learning this stuff. And you, I'm doing it with a phone, and you turn it the least little bit, and it uh, changes the picture. So, sorry about that. We'll get better at it.
got to remember to check that camera position. I don't like this little bitty picture stuff. Cross drilling the tap guide spindle for the tap wrench handle after it's pressed on. <laughs> Trying out the tap wrench to see how good it works. It seemed to uh, work real fine, and uh, well, later on we'll uh, talk about it at the end of this video. Okay, we're back over here at the bench now, and uh, this thing worked pretty good. All this is is a piece of half inch, and I uh, drilled and reamed an eight millimeter hole through it. It's about three inches long, uh, and then I took a uh, one inch piece of uh, steel and uh, it's about three and a quarter inches long. Turned this down to 314 and uh, uh, just cleaned this up on the outside and then I uh, drilled and bored this to fit my tap handle and then I drilled a cross hole where I could get my tap, hand, my, uh, tap handle back in there. So uh, it worked fine. It, uh, we used to have one at work, and it worked uh, great, and that's where I come up with the idea. And uh, I really, really liked it, so I thought I'd share it with y'all. I hope y'all like it. If you uh, like it, uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll, I'll try to get a, at least one video a month or two couple of months out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not too good at this. I'm new at this, and I'm not... Uh, real comfortable yet, but uh, maybe in time. And uh, this uh, this is just for your your entertainment and your uh, uh, pleasure. But uh, if you're please don't try this if you're not uh, comfortable. I worked at this trade for uh, about 35 years, maybe a little longer, uh, and uh, you can get hurt. I had a lot of friends that had cut off fingers, uh, damaged hands, uh, wrists that didn't work right after they got mashed. So please don't try this if you're not uh, if you're not comfortable or you're not uh, uh, experienced in it. Uh, this is just my way of doing things, and it's not the, necessarily the right way or or uh, the proper way. So uh, please be safe, whatever you do. Uh, like I said, thank you for watching, and if you would, subscribe if, and uh, come back and uh, watch some more. I'm going to try to get, like I said, one one or two videos a month out, and uh, thank you again. Good evening.